Hello everyone, I'm Ernie and I am so glad you're here with us today. Today we are going to make some more nitric acid, but we're going to use a different version and this one should come out a little stronger and a little cleaner and let's get to it. Here is our setup and let's get into the ingredients that we will need for this project. We will start off with 80 grams of potassium nitrate and you may use sodium nitrate instead of potassium nitrate. Next, we will use at least 32 grams of copper. Now we will measure out 25 milliliters of 12% hydrogen peroxide. You can use 30% hydrogen peroxide, you'll get a better yield. And you can use 3% or you can even use water, but your yield will be lower. We will also be using 50 milliliters of distilled water and 100 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. And we will use some ice. We will also be using a vacuum flask with quarter inch tubing and a glass pipette. Our glass pipette is made of a larger dropper and I just removed the rubber suction and inserted the pipette into our quarter inch tubing. First, we will add in our 80 grams of potassium nitrate into our vacuum flask. Now we will add in our at least 32 grams of copper and today we are using 33 grams. Now we will add in our 50 milliliters of distilled water. Do not add in your hydrochloric acid yet. Now we will take our 12% hydrogen peroxide that's in our graduated cylinder and place it into a beaker that's large enough to hold the graduated cylinder and some ice. And now let's add in our 100 milliliters of hydrochloric acid into our vacuum flask with our potassium nitrate, distilled water, and 32 grams of copper. Now, let's place our pipette into our graduated cylinder and put our stopper into the vacuum flask. At this point, our reaction has basically stopped and now we will get our nitric acid. Because we use 12% hydrogen peroxide, you can see our yield is about 20 milliliters.
Now we will take our freshly made nitric acid and pour it into the speaker that has a piece of copper in it. Only nitric acid can dissolve copper. Well, this wraps up this episode of our second version of making nitric acid. And if you enjoyed the procedure, I encourage you to smash that like button and to share this on your channel so others can learn the procedure as well. And I would like to say that if you try this, wear the proper PPE to protect your health, have the proper ventilation so you don't hurt your lungs because once you lose your health doing this, it's impossible to regain your health so protect yourself enjoy the projects that you're working on and if you haven't subscribed to our channel I would like to encourage you to subscribe and to become part of our AU family we would love to have you in our family we are so thankful that you're here we appreciate your support and we will see you on the next one